What's up everybody, it's Crypto Ben bringing the latest news about Seifu. CEO Seifu, John here to talk about the coin, so we have to see what's gonna happen here to Seifu in a couple of hours and a couple of days. But before we begin, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. It really does help the channel to grow and to continue to go up. Right now, we're 27,000 subscribers. Let's go to the 28,000 number. Without you guys, this channel just wouldn't even exist. So thank you so much for watching all of my videos. And let's all together go to the moon. So here we are in coin market cap. Let's go to what's happening to this coin for the last couple of hours, the last couple of days. As you can see right now, the market cap is 1.6 billion dollars. I think we lost like 60 million here, so 4% down as you can see. The volume is 13 million right now, almost at 14 million. So there you go. So what's been happening here? We are kind of still stabilized here, but we did have a little bit of a dip here. So why do we have this dip? It's because of Bitcoin. Bitcoin did do another crash like another dip here so we're gonna check out bitcoin and save one here at the chart so if you do see here we got 63,000 more watches than before and if you do want to buy the coin you can have all these different exchanges so there you go let's see what's been happening here if you go here to uh the safe one twitter i want to show you guys for uh, 966 thousand followers we're getting super close to that one million number so we're gonna see what's gonna happen but here we have the thriller, or like a video preview of the wallet here so this is the preview it does look pretty cool so safe on wallet i like these previews like they do really good like graphics here so i do like how it, how it does look so coming soon there you go that's about it i think from the preview yeah that's it so safe moon wallet that's about it yeah there you go pretty cool to see so in the end pretty soon pretty close to safe more like i said it should be by the end of this month here so in another two weeks probably in another two weeks we're gonna see the water coming out and hopefully because that a lot more people will start to join safe moon and we're just gonna have proof that safe moon is really doing something that uh we're not just blindly believing them or something like that so yeah diamond hands only safe moon safe moon diamond hands there you go diamond hands it's all about the diamond hands and i think safe one here has the biggest diamond hands ever because all of the like meme coins that were coming out in the last couple of months here safe one is one of the uh, one of those who survived so a lot of meme coins lost like everything like lost millions and millions and even billions of dollars in market cap because they just couldn't compete with the market. So Safe Moon here still at 1.6 billion. So you have to remember, guys, this is just an insane number. Just an insane number of people who are holding the coin. And that's the whole point. There's so many coins that don't even have close to that market cap, guys. You have to remember. Like so many coins have been going down, but Safe Moon here is still stabilizing, it's still fighting, it's still trying to stabilize somehow and survive this bearish market and it's doing a great job and people are and people are holding because of those tokenomics the tokenomics are going to be revolutionary for the crypto space but yeah let's continue so john here they post some interesting interesting things saying here android or iphone it really just curious what device os uh, you will have the safe moon wallet on so i have an iphone so dig i'm gonna get it on the ios so he said ps before y'all get feisty i like android and iphone for different reasons me too actually it's because android has a lot more accessibility so you can just do whatever you want but iphone is clean just never lacks for me that's why i like iPhone, using the iphone so there you go it's just the workflow is super fast. It says here, I cannot thank the Safe Moon team and all the new employees enough for the exemplary job they're doing. I also want to thank the Safe Moon army for the patience shown while we finish out these last sprints at ludicrous speeds. So there you go, ludicrous speeds, ludicrous speeds until they, they do release the wall here. Like, like I said, my theory for the, for the owls is that basically owls are just a synonym for people so basically i think the safe moon team is they're just owls that work at night so people who really are working so much to make the coin huge and like new owls or like new employees coming into the team so i think because of that those are the owls like people who like the safe moon uh, dev team who are really working day and night to uh, make the coin just uh, a lot better to finish the wallet, the exchange, the blockchain. I think that is the theory. I really do. It just shows you that it should be. It says like Pop Papa said something like he was super excited for the owls. That's the biggest thing. And the owls could be like I said, new employees, new dev teams coming into Safe Moon, really trying to help them to like like I said, create the the blockchain, create the exchange, and even the wallet here. So 
this is why I think it should be the Owls. I don't think, like, maybe there is a special program, I don't know, but I believe that's the most realistic thing. Like, Owls, night shifts, they're working day and night to really uh, make the coin a lot better to have more case uses. So this is something that John that says here, say here, saying exchange listings are the end of all for playing all tokens in crypto. SafeMoon isn't just a token, we are a platform. There you go. Since this is why we're not getting so many exchange listings, because they're not that important. Well, they are important, but it's more important to have case uses for the coin here, not just having exchanges. So now it's comedic. At this point, what we are doing is history in the making, and when we are able to release information and launch the variety of products that are a part of the SafeMoon platform, Fathers will be kicking themselves. So, like I said, guys, development takes time. So, like I said, this coin is super young, only four to five months old, and doing all the things that they're doing is gonna take a lot longer than everybody thinks. We're not gonna have everything the next month, but we're gonna have everything, I think, in the next two years. So, by the end of this year and by the end of the next year, we're probably gonna have a lot of things finished here ready for safe. This is why I'm super excited. So development just takes time. It just takes a lot of time here. So this here, Apple Pay confirmed. So cryptocurrency was designed to be spent. I can't wait for SafeMoon to release the SafeMoon wallet. The Apple Pay feature from Simplex CC will be a complete game changer. So there you go. So it was confirmed last month. So this was already confirmed because of Simplex, we'll be able to have Apple Pay. So that's going to be amazing. So Apple Pay is going to be on the wallet, on the SafeMoon wallet, but they first have to add Simplex. So in the end, the, still the biggest problem I'm seeing with the wallet is the buy button. So maybe we're not going to see the buy button. So if that happens, it's not that good, but they did promise that it is going to be in the future. So hopefully they are going to implement it. And when they do, it's going to be a lot easier for people to just buy the coin. That's the whole point for people to have the wallet. Like why would you have the wallet if you can't even buy safe one? It says here for those waiting to buy more. So SafeMoon, if you are waiting for more dips to buy, you need to just go ahead and load up because this is the bottom. You are pairing with BNB. BNB is down about forty to fifty dollars over the last few days, and we continue to stay stable. This is the floor bullish. So there you go. Please charge your phone. You see, <laughs> you just see here. Oh no, it's empty. It's almost empty. That's it. I'm selling. Selling my neighbor's copper wire for more safe moon. That's how you do it. So that's where it all went. Oh, okay. Now we know more. Now we know more. So there you go. So pretty interesting stuff are happening here. Like I said, super excited for the wallet and the future of safe moon here. Oh, this is the top meme. Is that all you need? Yes, safe. <laughs> Doge, Gold, Apple, like GameStop, Savings, Bitcoins, everything, Ethereum. I just need myself Safe Moon and just hold a little Safe Moon. Since you definitely recommend diversifying your portfolio, that's what I have done. Of course, guys, the, if you are a smart investor, you're going to diversify your portfolio because not every coin is going to succeed. You have to remember. I know you believe in so many products, but not everything have, will succeed. It's impossible for everything to succeed. But if you do focus, if you give all, if you do take the information, if you do follow the coins, then you're gonna see when a coin does make a mistake or when they have success. So do your own research, guys. I really do recommend it. Look at this pop of the blockchain wizard. Oh, that looks awesome. This looks so awesome. Okay, whoever did yeah, cringe to the moon. <laughs> Whoever did this is a genius. This looks so good. Yeah, it looks just amazing. I want to talk here about the charts, but first, if we want to really understand what happened here to save, we have to check out Bitcoin. So this here is Bitcoin. As you can see, what just happened here is that Bitcoin did, did lose some value here. So if we do measure from here to here, we basically lost 8% in the last two days. So there you go. So this is the little dip that did happen here. So this is like, I think 4% approximately. Yeah, there it goes, 4%. But what happened here at the end is that it did pump. So we did have a dump, but we did have a little pump here. Now, as you can see, we are getting rejected right over here at this line. So what's gonna probably happen, we keep getting rejected here, is that we are going to continue to go down. And the next low, the Bitcoin will go down, is probably either going to be all the way to here, or maybe even lower all the way to here. So probably another decrease of either 2% or even another 
almost 5% here as you can see. So we're going to see what's going to happen. But if we do break this level, but like I said, if we do go up, what can happen to this coin is that we could be able to increase here for 3% here and maybe even all the way to here for 6.5%. It all depends what's going to happen, but we're going to need a lot more buying power for Bitcoin if we do want to go up. So that's the biggest problem. As you can see here, the RSI, it's at the lowest we ever had the RSI. You see it's stabilizing at this level here and you can see before that we probably every single time we do go down we pretty much go up pretty soon so we go down then up then down then up but now we did go down and we've been stabilizing here for the longest of time so this is going to be a pretty big problem because like i said we're just not seeing enough buying power so breaking two to the downside is a lot uh, there's a lot bigger probability that we are going to just break to the downside because we're not seeing enough buying volume Unless something big happens to Bitcoin, some big news, then I think we're going to continue to go down here. So we're going to see what's going to happen here to Bitcoin. But if we go back to basically safe one here, you can see that we are still stabilizing to the downside. So let's continue here. Basically, we had this level here. Boom, right over here. Basically, 0.00026. So I did tell you guys that probably because nothing bigger is happening here to safe moon that we are going to hit this level so this bottleneck right over here this is where we do have safety i don't believe we're gonna break down a lot more it all depends because like i said if bitcoin does break down even more then we are going to hit this level here but there's still good good of a chance that, uh, that safe moon here will be able to stabilize but you can just see the rsi here is super down but in the end here, some people did buy the dip, but like I said, not enough circulation, guys. We don't have enough volume for this coin to be, to be able to go up. I want to be realistic with you guys. I don't want to lie to you. Like I said, stabilization right now, probably at this level here until Bitcoin breaks. If Bitcoin breaks to the downside, we're going to probably go down for another, uh, yeah, 10% here. So another 10% increase. We're going to find some stabilization right over here at this level. Because we have this part here and this part here because of these two like peaks and we're going to have a lot of stabilization at this level so i think we're going to stabilize here so basically something like this could happen where we do stabilize a little bit more like this and then hit this level then stabilize here and then we're going to have to see and wait out to see what's going to happen basically what we need is some really good information so by that time i think the wallet could be released and because of that the value of the coin will be able to go up. So this is what we are waiting for. We're waiting for that wall. We're waiting for like an AMA, something big that can make the coin just explode in price. So patience is key in the end. Patience is always key here for a safe one because in the end, this is a super new coin. It's a super new coin. It's like four, four to five months old. So we're gonna need a lot more time if we want safe one to do some big things. Like I said, the wall is going to be the first catalyst that's going to make this coin just explode in price slowly so like i said we're gonna need the wallet the exchange the blockchain so many big things need to happen to save one if we want to continue to go up so we're gonna see what's gonna happen but hopefully it will explode pretty soon here so yeah guys in the end i'm not a financial advisor if you do want to buy these coins please do your own research first if you did enjoy this video it means so much to me if you can like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.